was International Women's Day. I said was. Next joke. A new study finds... <laughs> a new study finds that some New York City rats carry the virus that causes COVID, which is why I always order mine. Well done. Well, no, right? The answer is no. <laughs> Apple is saying that COVID in China has led to a slowdown in iPhone production. Wow. So I guess the new variant does affect children. (laughs) I love this crowd. (laughs) A white student at the University of Kentucky was arrested after she was caught on video using a racial slur and assaulting two black students. She has been charged with one count of impersonating a police officer. Morocco beat Portugal in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. It is, uh, yeah, it's the best World Cup performance by a team of Africans since the unpaid workers who built the stadiums. I didn't do it. A California hiker who was attacked by a mountain lion said that her dog saved her life by jumping to her defense because after the dog, the mountain lion was way too full to eat anything else. It's not real. (laughs) Mel Gibson is reportedly in talks to direct a new Lethal Weapon movie. But if you want to see a broken down black guy team up with a handsome racist, just watch Weekend Update. (laughs) (laughs) The Palm Beach mansion, once owned by Jeffrey Epstein, will soon be demolished. And I'm honestly shocked that they would demolish a place where I have so many fond memories. (laughs) Rest in power, King. (laughs) Some doctors are worried about a new recommendation asking them to encourage middle-aged women to lose weight. Also worried about women losing too much weight? Black guys. (laughs) (laughs) The Empire Empire (laughs) State What? Wednesday was National Coffee with a Cop Day. And something tells me cops like their coffee black with a couple of shots in it. Oh my God. <laughs> Hefty has introduced pumpkin spice into trash bags. And I got to say, pumpkin spice into trash bags is probably the best slur for white people I've ever heard. <laughs> New York City is now requiring employers to disclose salary ranges in all job listings. Employers must list everything ranging from the top salary all the way down to the female salary. (laughs) A new report finds that as people move into formerly wild areas of Africa, human activity is disrupting chimpanzee culture. Incidentally, chimpanzee culture is also what my grandpa calls hip-hop. Why? (laughs) I wouldn't have said that. The CIA is marking its 75th anniversary by launching a podcast. And because it's the CIA, they're launching it directly into an Afghani wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk took over Twitter. Use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. <laughs> H&M has apologized after using a black child to model a sweatshirt with the logo Coolest Monkey in the Jungle. Worse, the shirt was made by the saddest child in the sweatshop. <laughs> I said worse. <laughs> yeah. An obese monkey in Thailand named Godzilla has been sent to a special facility to lose weight. Official realized the monkey was overweight when a bunch of black guys kept hitting on it. (laughs) That's pretty racist, Colin. Oh boy, a 102-year-old woman from New York who survived the 1918 Spanish flu has now beat coronavirus twice. But sadly, she was no match for my car. And well, we're still five weeks away from Easter, but earlier tonight, a man came back from the dead. 
it was announced that country music star Morgan Wallen had his recording contract suspended after a video surfaced of the singer using the N-word. Hmm, wonder who he learned that from. Some parents uh, in Oregon are having large groups of their children ride their bikes to school at the same time in a formation they're calling a bike bus. And pedophiles are calling a buffet. <laughs> Police in Queens were searching for a suspect who hijacked the bus and then immediately crashed it into a utility pole. Okay, so we know it's a woman. <laughs> Tensions are on the rise after North Korea launched more than 20 missiles into the ocean, and all because the Little Mermaid is black. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> this week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> A growing number of NFL players are filling up their, their off time by playing chess with each other. And also, let's see here, domestic violence. <laughs> they're spending their time, Colin. This week, Britain's most eligible bachelor, Prince Andrew, <laughs> officially deleted his Twitter account after he realized that's not the app with all the dancing teenagers. <laughs> Tuesday was National Puppy Day, unfortunately at Subway. <laughs> A a student in Texas, who is nicknamed White Lightning, set a high school record by running the 100-meter dash in 9.98 seconds. Coincidentally, people call me White Lightning because I also finish in under 10 seconds. <laughs> German researchers have recorded the shortest interval of time for an event to begin and end. The event finished so quickly, scientists have named it Che. As this year's award season gets underway, there's growing movement to get rid of the gendered categories of best actor and best actress and instead call them best actor and best actor who got paid less. <laughs> oh boy, President Biden said that he supports a bill that would allow the government to ban TikTok, but only because Biden thinks TikTok is a gang member from his old neighborhood. <laughs> President Biden on Friday attended a formal ceremony welcoming Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. Said Biden, and where's Justice Ginsburg? Ruth, come on up here. Uh, that's how he really dances, too. First Lady Jill Biden said in an interview that she maintains a good balance in the types of advice she offers President Biden, but it's mostly hold on to the railing. This week, South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh was found guilty of murder and also found guilty of looking like Will Ferrell dressed as Conan O'Brien. <laughs> at, at a White House event, President Biden asked if Representative Jackie Walorski was in the audience, asking, where's Jackie? Apparently forgetting she died last month. <laughs> worse, worse, he keeps forgetting that this woman is still alive. <laughs> This week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> a California man has set a new world record by visiting Disneyland for 2,995 consecutive days, but still no sign of his kid. A new study, <laughs> I tried to plow right through. <laughs> a new study finds that married men live a longer, healthier life. Yeah, but for what? <laughs> wow, well, 
let me respond with two words, Jesus H. Christ. (laughs) Biden was then heard criticizing reporters at the White House for shouting questions at him. Questions like, what year is it? And who's the current president? (laughs) Also, they weren't reporters, they were doctors. (laughs) A man who made aviation history by parachuting out of a hot air balloon 20 miles above the earth has died at the age of 94 when he finally hit the ground. (laughs) Researchers say that for more than a decade they tracked a humpback whale as it swam over 3,000 miles from Canada to Hawaii with a broken spine. They even got a recording of its whale song. President Biden said that he plans to run again in 2024, but won't make a final decision until early next year, because it's like his doctor told him, I wouldn't plan too far ahead. (laughs) (laughs) After this year's elections, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors. (laughs) Rishi Sunak will become Great Britain's first ever prime minister of Indian descent. Said his mom, okay, why not king? (laughs) During a White House ceremony, President Biden wished Kamala Harris a happy birthday, then accidentally called her a great president. (laughs) Even worse, he was talking to a portrait of Michelle Obama. And Biden, seen here begging for one more year before the midterms, <laughs> warned about Republican candidates who say they will refuse to accept election results, warning they could set the nation on a path to chaos. So wait, this is just the path to chaos? <laughs> I thought we'd been living in chaos for at least six years. I mean, Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked in their home by a guy with a hammer, and instead of even basic sympathy, Republicans were like, we heard he gay. <laughs> Biden has recommended that South Carolina become the first state to vote in the Democratic primaries to give black voters more of a voice in selecting the 2024 candidate. Not to be outdone, Donald Trump also plans to give black voters a voice with this puppet. (laughs) (laughs) While while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. A 25-year-old from Florida will become the first Gen Z member of Congress. Younger, said Matt Gates. <laughs> President Biden signed a measure that would force railway workers to accept a deal that averts a strike but does not include paid sick leave. Why do you expect Biden to care about sick leave when he shows up to work every day with full-blown CTE? <laughs> President Biden seen here giving the eulogy at a pimp's funeral. (laughs) Formally approved new legislation that will guarantee federal protections for same-sex and interracial marriages in a signing ceremony held over my grandpa's dead body. The Senate passed the Respect for Marriage Act, which solidifies federal protections for interracial marriages. Okay, but if I marry a white lady, who's going to protect me from my mother? (laughs) The FBI searched President Biden's Delaware beach house, but found no classified documents. Also, the next time somebody tells you that Biden got billions from China, remember that his beach house is in Delaware. (laughs) This week, Biden also hosted leaders of African countries at the White House for the U.S. African Business Forum. Coincidentally, U.S. African Business Forum is what they call Weekend Update in Nigeria. (laughs) Well, it is Christmas time, uh, a time... A time when nice children get presidents... Presidents, not presidents. (laughs) A new study finds that long-distance running does not cause wear and tear on marathoners' knees, but it does sand their nipples clean off. (laughs) New trend among younger workers is bare minimum Monday, in which they do as little as possible on the first day of the work week while a new trend among World War II veterans is realizing their sacrifice meant nothing. 
it was it was reported that the James Bond books are being rewritten to remove offensive material. So the character Pussy Galore will now be called Cooter a Plenty. <laughs> This weekend, bitter rivals who have been desperately pandering for votes and trying to force their politics on America will finally face off in person. I'm, of course, talking about tomorrow's Oscars. <laughs> the U.S. Energy Department concluded that COVID likely originated from a Wuhan laboratory leak and not a wet market. So I gave up eating bats for nothing? <laughs> Newspapers around the country dropped the, car the cartoon strip Dilbert after creator Scott Adams said he chose to live in a community where no black people live. So he lives in your building, huh, Colin? <laughs> The Motion Picture Academy has rejected a request from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to make an appearance during the Oscars, but they promised that Volodymyr Zelensky will be how John Travolta pronounces Viola Davis. A police officer in New York State. A police officer in New York State is being called the baby whisperer after he helped deliver his fifth baby in nine years. Only five babies in nine years, said Nick Cannon. <laughs> Organizers of the Oscars said they changed the color of the arrival carpet from red to champagne so the mood would be more mellow. But, I don't know, switching from red to champagne usually turns me into a full-on bitch. <laughs> the House Ethics... The House Ethics Committee has announced an investigation into George Santos. Well, thank God I'm not George Santos, said George Santos. <laughs> Donald Trump accused Ron DeSantis of wanting to cut Social Security and Medicare and called the Florida governor a wheelchair over the cliff kind of guy. <laughs> wheelchair over the cliff is also how Melania will finally get rid of him. President Biden proposed his budget that would help fund Medicare with a 25% tax on billionaires. Ha! Take that, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> President Biden's proposed budget included $400 million to counter Chinese disinformation. It will target the number one source of Chinese disinformation, fortune cookies. <laughs> no. Newspapers drop the cartoon strip effective immediately, and to rub it in, they're replacing Dilbert with Peanuts Oops All Franklin. <laughs> Dilbert creator Scott Adams' racist rant was in response to the results of a poll that asked respondents the question, is it okay to be white? Oh, I'd say it's more than just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker Carlson seen here laughing at a dog locked in a hot car <laughs> released security footage from the January 6th attacks with the violence edited out and said it proves it was a peaceful gathering which is like editing all the sex out of a porn video and saying it's a short film about being a stepmom <laughs> As this year's award season gets underway, there's growing movement to get rid of the gendered categories of best actor and best actress and instead call them best actor and best actor who got paid less. <laughs> it, was, it was reported that the James Bond books are being rewritten to remove offensive material. So the character Pussy Galore will now be called Cooter a Plenty. <laughs> New documents from the Dominion lawsuit reveal texts from Tucker Carlson in which he says he hates Donald Trump passionately and can't wait until he's able to ignore him. That must suck to go on TV and put on a smile and make friends with some psychotic bigot just because it's good for the show. <laughs> anyway, back to you, Colin. <laughs> House Republicans, concerned that China could use TikTok to illegally gather information on Americans, have voted for a bill that could ban the app nationwide, replied TikTok users. That's how he really dances, too. <laughs> Well, 
I don't get it. <laughs> RuPaul, RuPaul harshly criticized lawmakers who support banning drag shows, calling them stunt queen politicians. And let me just say, hallelujah, girl. I, you know, I got to serve realness on this one. These, these dusty breeders are resting on ugly, and I am gagging on it. First Lady Joe Biden said in an interview that she maintains a good balance in the types of advice she offers President Biden, but it's mostly, hold on to the railing. <laughs> this week, South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh was found guilty of murder and also found guilty of looking like Will Ferrell dressed as Conan O'Brien. <laughs> and so, I'm sorry, guys, before the show, I switched from red to champagne. <laughs> Oh, boy. President Biden said that he supports a bill that would allow the government to ban TikTok, but only because Biden thinks TikTok is a gang member from his old neighborhood. <laughs> a man in Missouri, a man in Missouri is planning to turn an abandoned jail into an Airbnb rental, which will make it the first jail that refuses to accept black people. <laughs> announced that Puerto Rico's only zoo is closing after years of alleged animal neglect. Worse, the zoo is closing. It's being advertised as all you can eat. <laughs> after Walgreens announced that they will stop selling abortion pills in 21 states, CVS has remained silent on the issue. While over at Rite Aid, you can just grab a pill from the take abortion, leave abortion pill. <laughs> Officials at TikTok are trying to stop efforts in Congress to ban the app by launching a campaign called Project Texas because TikTok is their baby and they know Texas won't let them get rid of it. <laughs> Some doctors are worried about a new recommendation asking them to encourage middle-aged women to lose weight. Also worried about women losing too much weight? Black guys. <laughs> reported that the organizers of King Charles's coronation have officially invited Meghan Markle, and this is nice, at a starting salary of $19 an hour. <laughs> that seems very generous, guys. Yeah. Okay, there you are. Okay. A woman in Atlanta gave birth to her baby in a McDonald's, so caution, wet floor. <laughs> A porn star in Australia revealed that while recently filming a new movie, he broke his penis and said it... <laughs> this is really sad, ma'am. <laughs> he broke his penis and said it went completely black, which you know means it's never going back. <laughs> the man has adjusted to his new black penis by filming all his sex scenes in Timberlands. <laughs> It was announced that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have reached a settlement in their divorce, and I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that she maybe had an easier time finding a good lawyer. <laughs> a deep sea diver has announced plans to set a new record by living underwater for 100 days. I feel like the record is longer than that, said the people of New Orleans. <laughs> I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> a California man has set a new world record by visiting Disneyland for 2,995 consecutive days, but still no sign of his kid. A new study... <laughs> I tried to plow right through. <laughs> a new study finds that married men live a longer, healthier life. Yeah, but for what? <laughs> Florida said he was surprised when he heard a knock at the door and it turned out to be an alligator. Even more surprising, it was doing the thing from Love Actually. <laughs> Officials in Berlin announced that women will now be allowed to go topless at the city's pools. But officials also said to be aware, it's not going to be the ones you want. <laughs> Biologists in Florida are warning that the Jesus Christ lizard, named for its ability to run on water, could spread harmful diseases to humans. They hope to control the population by introducing a punctious pilot lizard. <laughs> Let's see. 
Law enforcement departments in six European countries arrested nearly 50 drug traffickers who were running a cocaine super cartel. And you know what made the cartel really super? Friendship. <laughs> According to a new report, by 2035, more than half of the world's population will be just how I like them. <laughs> a, photo, a photo has gone viral of a 98-year-old woman in Kentucky meeting her first great-great-great-grandchild. Well, I wish I had gotten to meet my great-great-great-grandmother so I could have told her, don't get on that boat! <laughs> At his CNN town hall, President Biden discussed the importance of addressing mental health, saying a broken spirit is no different than a broken arm. Well, if I keep betting on the Giants, I'm going to have both. Well, this is our Halloween episode, guys. So I wanted to start by showing you the most haunting image I saw this week. No, not, not that, actually. That, that's just Kanye. Uh, sorry, yay. He goes by yay now, even though no one looks at this and thinks, yay. The haunting image I was thinking about was actually this. A TikTok went viral of a squirrel that appeared to be holding hands with a woman. See, it's like Che always says, gay marriage is a slippery slope. <laughs> the International Handball Federation has agreed to allow female players to wear bike shorts instead of bikini bottoms. But they're still insisting that refs use this whistle. <whistles> More than... Former President Trump was filmed doing the tomahawk chop at a World Series game in Atlanta. Native American groups said they found it extremely offensive to see their culture associated with someone who can't even run a successful casino. <laughs> Pfizer announced that it has developed an antiviral pill that can reduce hospitalization among COVID patients by nearly 90 percent. And even better, it makes you harder than trigonometry. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, Stephen Sweeney, the New Jersey Senate president, lost his re-election bid in an upset to a truck driver named Edward Durr. Coincidentally, Durr is also the New Jersey state motto. Our top story tonight, like it's been for as long as I can remember, infrastructure. Last night, the House passed President Biden's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, which should be enough to clean as many as two of LaGuardia's bathrooms. <laughs> The infrastructure bill will also expand internet access across the U.S., which is great news, because when has more internet ever been bad for America? <laughs> I mean, come on, the guy just turned 79, half the country already thinks he's senile. You can't drop all that on him the second he comes out of the gas. <laughs> I actually can't believe how well it went. Remember David after the dentist? I'm surprised we didn't get Biden after the colonoscopy. On Friday... <laughs> it's not real, guys. <laughs> It was announced that for the first time ever, Disney parks will feature black Santa Clauses, unfortunately, as part of the Villains Parade. <laughs> Mel Gibson is reportedly in talks to direct a new Lethal Weapon movie, but if you want to see a broken-down black guy team up with a handsome racist, just watch Weekend Update. <laughs> A Washington, D.C. art school is postponing renaming its theater after alumni Dave Chappelle following his Netflix special controversy. Well, of course, because God forbid you should name a building after someone problematic in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Meanwhile, my old high school insists on keeping the Michael Chase sucks butt bathroom stuck. Well, yesterday was a weird one for President Biden. He went under anesthesia for a colonoscopy, and when he woke up, the House had passed the $2 trillion social safety net bill, the Rittenhouse verdict was announced, and a woman had technically been president for the first time ever. And while Biden was processing all that, he was rushed off to pardon a turkey named Peanut Butter. In the latest episode of Gwyneth Paltrow's new Netflix show, Sex, Love, and Goop, a sexologist explained how people can experience full body orgasms while fully clothed without touching, which is also what happens when your mom watches Bridgerton. <laughs> this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's my guy. Because uh, this week, a former White House, I want to say garbage man, <laughs> Steve Bannon, was held in contempt of Congress. Uh, but this is what Bannon wants. You know, it just plays into his whole persecuted Messiah complex. Though Bannon is similar to Jesus in that he looks like he's been dead for three days. <laughs> The head of Chicago's police union is urging officers to defy the city's vaccine mandate, which is weird because usually Chicago police can't wait to take the shot. <laughs> Walmart. The FDA authorized the mixing and matching of booster shots and vaccines as we enter the just winging it phase <laughs> of the pandemic. 
seriously, when it comes to medication, when has your doctor ever said, just mix and match? It's all good. Taste the rainbow. Who's the head of the FDA now, <laughs> little Wayne? It was reported that mothers in California are trying to pass on COVID vaccine antibodies to their children by making them smoothies with their breast milk. Oh, sure, but when I ask for that, I'm <laughs> escorted out of Jamba Juice. National Impotency Awareness Month began on Monday, and I, for one, thought it'd never come. <laughs> Smith College has become the first woman's college to eliminate student debt by replacing loans with grants, because a lady should never have to pay. <laughs> An 81-year-old pharmacist in Pennsylvania was arrested for allegedly trading drugs for sexual favors. Wow, so he's a pharmacist now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Republican Winsome Sears, seen here attempting suicide by cop, was elected, <laughs> was elected as Virginia's first black female lieutenant governor. But this is actually a win for Democrats because nothing will get Republicans to support gun control faster than this picture. <laughs> In the wake of Republican, in the wake of Republican success in this week's elections, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy announced that Republicans would introduce a Parents' Bill of Rights, which I'm pretty sure is just a sign you could buy at Home Goods. <laughs> a professor at a college in Virginia is being criticized after saying that it is not immoral for adults to be sexually attracted to children. Find out why in his new book. Wait, hold on, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> this week, this week, the U.S. experienced the longest partial lunar eclipse in nearly 600 years. Scientists say the eclipse began when Yo Mama got on the trampoline. New research shows that before honeybees are killed by murder hornets, they scream a rally cry to other bees who sadly just film the attack on their phones. <laughs> A man, a man surprised his girlfriend by bringing her on stage to propose to her during an Adele concert. Then they sat down and listened to an hour of songs about divorce. <laughs> Matt Gates said his office would be open to hiring Kyle Rittenhouse as a congressional intern. Because Gates has always loved teenagers who are willing to do terrible things. <laughs> Steve Bannon, seen here ordering one new liver, please. <laughs> Five... Pfizer also reported Friday that its COVID vaccine for children is 90% effective. Meanwhile, Johnson & Johnson reported that their COVID vaccine for children is just Capri Sun. <laughs> A Star Wars-themed house has been listed for sale in Florida. But in Florida, Star wars theme just means it was owned by siblings who kiss. <laughs> After trying for several years, the New York City Commission voted to remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. They were finally able to remove it by telling the statue there was a hot black lady outside. <laughs> also at the town hall, President Biden admitted that he has not yet had time to visit the southern border, though his approval rating has. <laughs> Insiders are also saying that during meetings, President Biden repeatedly uses the F word in conversation. More concerning, the F word he keeps using is forget. <laughs> Senator Kirsten Sinema, who hates the attention, says she is opposed to raising taxes on the wealthy to pay for President Biden's agenda. Finally, someone speaking up for billionaires because it's so hard to hear them from space. <laughs> Donald Trump announced the launch of his own social media network. He's calling Truth Social, but most people know it by its original name, the National Sex Offender Registry. <laughs> plastic, <laughs> a plastic surgeon posted a video on TikTok claiming that the rumor is true that the size of a person's nose has a direct connection to the size of his penis. Oh, so that's why Camilla's smiling. <laughs> 30,000 people were locked inside Shanghai Disneyland after one visitor tested positive for COVID. So let this be a lesson to all you kids out there. If you aren't more careful about COVID, you'll end up living at Disney World. <laughs> a high school principal has apologized for unsportsmanlike conduct of the school's football team after they beat another team 106 to zero. Apology accepted, said the Jets. <laughs> With his victory, Eric Adams will become New York's second black mayor, not to be confused with the New York mayor who blacks out. 
<laughs> Adams defeated Republican Curtis Sliwa, who will now return to his previous job as Emily in Paris's lawyer. <laughs> Democrat Terry McAuliffe lost to Republican Glenn Youngkin in the Virginia governor's race. But on the bright side, losers from Virginia usually get a statue. (laughs) Political experts say that the Republican victory in Virginia's governor's race was fueled by support from white women who didn't go to college, which just so happens to be the same exact group I target on Tinder. (laughs) Surrendered to the FBI on contempt of Congress charges and said, we are taking down the Biden regime. I hate to break it to you, Steve, but I think Biden's got that covered all on his own. (laughs) Bannon addressed his supporters in a live stream on Getter, a social media platform popular with Trump allies. Getter is named after what its users say whenever they see a woman walking alone. (laughs) Royal experts are saying that Queen Elizabeth's health has entered a different phase and the public may not see her until February. So you know what that means. New titties. Thanks. Thanks. That wasn't a dress. Anyway, a a self-portrait by Frida Kahlo was sold at auction for the record sum of $34 million, a price that definitely raised some eyebrow. (laughs) Some of my best work. (laughs) Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar, seen here watching an interracial couple walk by. (laughs) has officially been censured after posting a violent anime video that depicted him killing Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. But I don't know, he's a 60-year-old man who makes his own anime. When he heard he was getting punished, he was probably like, is it nipple clamps? (laughs) On Friday, Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty in the murder of two men during a Black Lives Matter protest. So hopefully he got all that shooting out of his system before he becomes a cop. Protests are being held all around the country in response to the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse, which is brave because Rittenhouse just got off of shooting protesters. I don't know, maybe don't tempt them? (laughs) The CIA is marking its 75th anniversary by launching a podcast, and because it's the CIA, they're launching it directly into an Afghani wedding. (laughs) Yeah. A new study finds that during the pandemic, students' math scores dropped by almost 10%. Wow, so more than half. (laughs) New York City is now requiring employers to disclose salary ranges in all job listings. Employers must list everything ranging from the top salary all the way down to the female salary. Some parents uh, in Oregon are having large groups of their children ride their bikes to school at the same time in a formation they're calling a bike bus. And pedophiles are calling a buffet. (laughs) Police in Queens were searching for a suspect who hijacked the bus and then immediately crashed it into a utility pole. Okay, so we know it's a woman. Tomorrow is the New York City Marathon, or as Fox News will report it, undocumented Africans won wild in streets of New York. China has launched the third, (laughs) China has launched the third and final module for its permanent space station. Now all they have to do is launch some children to assemble it. An Arizona woman was arrested after she allegedly went day drinking while her five-month-old child was sitting home alone, like a loser. (laughs) Texas police arrested a woman who broke into a man's house, stripped naked, and slept in one of his beds. The man called the police when he realized the woman was not attractive. Researchers say the number of gray whales off Western North America has continued to decline for several years. It's a sad fact that makes me wonder if whale oil is really the best way to give my hair this amazing volume. (laughs) British officials have unveiled King Charles III's new royal monogram. The C stands for Charles, the R is for Rex, and the three is for how many hundreds of yards Prince Andrew has to stay away from schools. The Postal Service announced a new stamp honoring the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's also a stamp honoring Clarence Thomas that says, flip me over and start licking. (laughs) 
A video was posted of a recent Smash Mouth concert in which... I know, recent. Uh, a recent Smash Mouth concert in which the lead singer, singer is seen slurring his words doing a Nazi salute and threatening to kill an audience member. And it gets worse, he then started singing. <laughs> Police in England are now using specially trained dogs to detect semen at crime scenes. This replaces the old method of detecting semen, slipping on it. <laughs> Elon Musk took over Twitter. Use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. <laughs> A woman in Slovakia helped the rest of men robbing a gas station by performing oral sex on them until police arrived. The woman was able to stall him for that long by being terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> Tensions are on the rise after North Korea launched more than 20 missiles into the ocean, and all because the Little Mermaid is black. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> This week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words, made in America. A group of researchers are trying to determine why humans have a desire to feed other animals, such as birds and squirrels. But if I had to guess, it's probably because their wife passed away. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that'd make you laugh. <laughs> During a White House ceremony, President Biden wished Kamala Harris a happy birthday, then accidentally called her a great president. <laughs> Even worse, he was talking to a portrait of Michelle Obama. After trying for several years, the New York City Commission voted to remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. They were finally able to remove it by telling the statue there was a hot black lady outside. <laughs> Woof. Residents in Rome are upset after a wild boar and her six piglets were killed on a playground near the Vatican. But it's like they say, nothing good ever happens on a playground near the Vatican. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this week there was a full moon known as the beaver moon, which can be seen about a month after a waxing moon. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a good one. Starbucks has launched a new eco-friendly program called Borrow a Cup, in which customers return their cup after finishing their drink so the store can use it again. And Dunkin' Donuts plans to compete with this promotion by not doing that. <laughs> the, house, the house where Lizzie Borden murdered her parents has been sold for $2 million and will be turned into a bed and breakfast. Though a bed and breakfast where a murder happened is pretty much just a day's in. Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> the White House has introduced a new plan to put nutrition labels on the front instead of the back. So to give you an idea of the overall health of Americans, we're too lazy to do this. Orthodox Jewish leaders in New York City lashed out at a newly imposed coronavirus restriction in their neighborhoods by setting fires and burning masks. And it's a miracle because the masks burned for eight nights. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's a good one. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Firefighters in Florida rescued a horse that fell into a septic tank and was nearly submerged in raw sewage. A horse submerged in raw sewage is also known as an Arby's beef and cheddar. Arby's, we eat the horse. In the wake of the R. Kelly verdict, there is a growing movement online to force music streaming services to remove his music. I mean, after all, streaming is basically what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> 
statue of George Floyd on display in a New York City park was defaced for the second time. Police are searching for the suspect and are planning to serve him with a job application. <laughs> A woman in Taiwan who thought her boyfriend was cheating cut off his penis and flushed it down the toilet. I'm sorry, thought he was cheating? <laughs> South Carolina lawmakers voted to add firing squad to his execution methods. And I think it's nice that people will finally get the chance to be shot after they're found guilty. <laughs> a woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14 pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> <It's a map. laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get it. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. A new study shows that the COVID vaccine does not cause infertility in men or women. Damn it, why did I get this? <laughs> a professional golfer in Florida was arrested after he tried to meet a 15 year old girl he met online who turned out to be a detective, said the golfer, Mulligan? <laughs> Come on, man. Sadly, there's more. For those of you wondering, in golf terms, a 15-year-old is three under par. It was reported that adult model Belle Dufine is making over $1 million a month by selling her used bath water, which is crazy because it doesn't taste that good. <laughs> A new study says that the combined mass of every ant on Earth is greater than the mass of every mammal and bird combined. Thanks mostly to this juicy bitch. <laughs> Walmart, Walmart announced that members of its Walmart Plus subscription service will be able to take advantage of Black Friday sales four hours early. Experts believe it could be the most violent gathering of Walmart shoppers since January 6th. <laughs> Border officials have discovered $400,000 worth of meth hidden inside pumpkins. They could tell the pumpkins were full of meth because they only had like three teeth left. Mm. <laughs> New York City Steakhouse Peter Luger has partnered with Madame Tussauds to filling its dining room with wax figures of celebrities during the pandemic. So now you can enjoy a steak with Jimmy Fallon or have a dessert with Audrey Hepburn or have a drink with, oh no, Bill Cosby. <laughs> In the wake of the ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas, insiders praise President Biden's light touch when dealing with Benjamin Netanyahu. But in fairness, everything Biden does involves some kind of touch. <laughs> Pfizer also said that its COVID vaccine is safe and effective for teens aged 12 to 15. Well, that's a relief, said Matt Gates. <laughs> In a new documentary, an ex-girlfriend of Prince Andrew describes Jeffrey Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell as Batman and Robin. Come on, what does Batman and Robin have in common with a billionaire that grooms teenagers? <laughs> Disneyland's Snow White ride is being criticized because Prince Charming kisses Snow White without her consent while she's asleep. Which still isn't as bad as Universal Studios' new Cosby the Ride. <laughs> A growing number of NFL players are filling up their, their off time by playing chess with each other. And also, let's see here, domestic violence. <laughs> That's how they're spending their time, Colin. <laughs> Researchers have discovered a piece of 20 million year old petrified wood on the Greek island of Lesbos. They knew it was from Lesbos because it's double ended. Oh, man. <laughs> A hundred art industry figures have criticized four different museum plans to postpone exhibits featuring an artist paintings of the KKK. But if you want to see portraits of Klansmen, you can always search Jost on Ancestry.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Yankees legend Whitey Ford died this week at the age of 91. Ford reminds us of a simpler time when you could just name your kid Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is dark. A woman, oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> a woman flying to Detroit said she woke up to a pastor urinating on her. 
which explains why her dream was about her being baptized. A new law has been passed in California requiring companies to have more diversity in their board of directors, which is how I forced my way onto the board of BET. <laughs> BET. There's going to be some changes around here. Senator Bernie Sanders suggested that he, <laughs> that he supports replacing fellow Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. Damn, Bernie, stabbing your own co-workers in the back? That's unforgivable. I would never suggest Collins should be fired, no matter how much better I think Bowen would be. <laughs> Gen Z icon Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> is petitioning the court for the return of his rifle so he can destroy it. I don't know, careful Kyle, trying to get your memorabilia back is how they finally got OJ. The head of Chicago's police union is urging officers to defy the city's vaccine mandate, which is weird because usually Chicago police can't wait to take the shot. <laughs> Ohio say that a report of a homeless man sleeping on a bench turned out to be a statue, which was a huge relief because they shot it 15 times. <laughs> Pebbles, who was the world's oldest living dog, has died at the age of 22. But it's okay, his owners knew this was coming if they didn't keep him off my yard. A new poll shows that 75% of LGBTQ voters support Joe Biden, but 0% of them support Joe Biden guessing what the B, T, and Q stand for. The Kremlin celebrated the illegal annexation of Ukraine with a night of entertainment in Red Square. Say what you will, but a gig's a gig. <laughs> Startup airline Boom Supersonic is hoping to eventually fly passengers anywhere in the world in four hours or less for just $100. So get ready to fly fast and cheap on the only airline named after the sound of an explosion. <laughs> this is fun. A Canadian woman was fined more than $25,000 for illegally importing bull semen. Meanwhile, in the U.S., bull semen is sold legally under the name White Claw. Doctors in China removed more than 120 magnetic beads swallowed by a five-year-old boy. Wow. Wait till his boss at the factory hears about this. <laughs> the CDC, the CDC's warning about a salmonella outbreak that's linked to bird feeders. Yet another piece of bad news for people who eat out of bird feeders. Conductor, a conductor of a bullet train is facing disciplinary action after he left the controls to use the bathroom while the train was traveling at nearly 100 miles an hour. But brother, that chili was traveling at that same speed. <laughs> New Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has been accused of spreading white supremacist ideas, which is crazy. We're now counting Italians as white? <laughs> Sizzler restaurants have announced that as a result of the impact from COVID, they are filing for bankruptcy, which is probably a good idea since the Sizzler buffet is the closest thing America has to a Wuhan wet market. <laughs> the population of Los Angeles has fallen for the third straight year. Well, it's like Colin always says, LA is just not the same without Harvey. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's cool. Researchers say that a system on the International Space Station that turns astronaut urine into drinking water could be used to provide clean water on Earth, which is the kind of amazing innovation that makes me think, wait, then what are astronaut brownies made of? <laughs> the chief, well, you're not going to like this. The chief, <laughs> the chief of the Cherokee Nation is calling on car maker Jeep to stop using the tribe's name on its vehicles. So Jeep has agreed to change the name to, wow, the Aunt Jemima Mobile. Singer R. Kelly was found guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking this week, but won't be sentenced until next May. 
after R. Kelly's lawyers successfully negotiated one more school year. <laughs> uh. It was reported that federal authorities investigating the sex trafficking accusations against Matt Gates have secured the cooperation of his ex-girlfriend, but not until after her prom. <laughs> Doctors say that a man who came into an emergency room complaining about chest pains had a 10 centimeter chunk of cement lodged in his heart. Wow. Anyways, he's dead. <laughs> a 90. <laughs> Mattel is releasing a Helen Keller Barbie doll. Just remember not to let her drive the Barbie Corvette. <laughs> A British woman was shocked when she discovered a four-foot-long python in her toilet. But hey, that's Indian food for you. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you could go back to the Grand Canyon joke, yeah. <laughs> Officials in Georgia say that more than 50 children may have been exposed to coronavirus by a mall Santa, which is the second worst thing a mall Santa can expose children to. <laughs> The U.S. men's soccer team failed to qualify for the Olympics for the third time in a row. But fellas, keep your heads up and remember that win or lose, you will always get paid more than the women's team. It's true. Sesame, Sesame Street has introduced two new black Muppets to help explain racial difference to children. Which begs the question, are these Muppets white? Today was National No Broad Day, which I celebrated by not supporting women. <laughs> <laughs> it's a broad joke. Tuesday was National Puppy Day, unfortunately at Subway. <laughs> <A squ> <laughs> <laughs> it was revealed that Freddy, the world's tallest dog, has died. The cause of death has been listed as ceiling fan. <laughs> This week, Britain's most eligible bachelor, Prince Andrew, <laughs> officially deleted his Twitter account after he realized that's not the app with all the dancing teenagers. <laughs> Catholic leaders issued new pandemic guidelines for Ash Wednesday, discouraging priests from wiping ashes directly off people's foreheads. And I think no touching could just be a great new rule in general. <laughs> Fisher Price has launched an online museum showcasing its toys over the past 90 years. Or you can see them in person at America's most famous toy museum, the Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Southwest Airlines has changed their policy for emotional support animals and will now only allow cats and dogs on board. While over at Spirit, everyone's given a snake. <laughs> M&M's announced that they've redesigned their iconic M&M characters after people requested that the brown M&M not look like a teacher who has sex with her students. <laughs> Insiders are also saying that during meetings, President Biden repeatedly uses the F word in conversation. More concerning, the F word he keeps using is forget. Police in Florida say that multiple shots were fired during a fight outside of Chuck E. Cheese, but there were no victims located. Hmm, maybe check the pizza? <laughs> a, new, <laughs> a new study by astronomers finds that the galaxy is not as black as previously thought after it was seen dating a white lady. <laughs> Pope Francis ended a Vatican summit by promising the Catholic Church would confront the clergy sex abuse head on instead of their usual way, face down, ass up. <laughs> A student in Texas, who is nicknamed White Lightning, set a high school record by running the 100-meter dash in 9.98 seconds. Coincidentally, people call me White Lightning because I also finish in under 10 seconds. <laughs>
It was reported that more than 400 million pieces of plastic has washed up on a remote island in the Indian Ocean. And for reference, here's what 400 million pieces of plastic looks like. A man... A man in Iran went to the hospital after he got a double-A battery stuck inside his penis. It was double-A because that's the sound he makes when it goes in. Ah, ah. Experts say, experts say that by 2026, Disney Plus will surpass Netflix to become the top streaming platform in the world. Not so fast, said Pornhub. <laughs> I'm impressed by all the Ukrainian citizens signing up to defend their country, even the famous ones. Imagine that here. If you ever read on the news Michael Che has joined an American war, we have just lost that war. <laughs> a substitute teacher in North Carolina has resigned after she reportedly told a class of elementary students that Martin Luther King Jr. killed himself. In her defense, he is the one who decided to keep running his mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> The nomination fulfills Biden's promise to change the subject. <laughs> you clapped too early. <laughs> Biden chose Jackson after interviewing three finalists this week. Weird, I thought interviewing black candidates was just for show, said the NFL. A woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14-pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> It's a math joke. <laughs> but I have a close friend who's Russian, and I asked her what she thought about it, and she said, Michael, you know, paid me to talk, baby. <laughs> but he finds that 11% of American adults are afraid of the dark, especially if that dark is behind them at the ATM. <laughs> In the days after New York Mayor Eric Adams announced a new plan to stop violence in the city's transit system, six people were stabbed on the subway. And I think I speak for all New Yorkers when I say, that sounds pretty low. Okay, this is not, I'm already so worried. Okay, it says, okay, time out. I refuse to read this last joke, not because it's racist, but because there's a black man holding my cue card. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it says I can't work like this, so Merry Christmas, homeboy, you're fired. <laughs> Researchers have observed a nearly 60-foot-tall rogue wave off the coast of British Columbia, which is the largest ever recorded. Researchers believe the wave was generated when Yo Mama fell overboard. <laughs> Researchers are testing a new method to treat cancer by injecting the cells with the herpes virus. So good news, if you've ever had sex with me, you might have the cure for cancer. Well, we're now at the point where at every press conference, the president's asked, will there be a nuclear war? A journalist asked President Biden if we should be worried about nuclear war, and he said, no, because what's he going to say? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Start digging a bunker, Jack. It's Recent polls show that Pete Buttigieg has only 4% support among African Americans, but that'll change once Pete announces his running mate, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> Chernobyl is like landing an audition for Harvey Weinstein now. Doctors <laughs> in Iowa have confirmed a dog disease that can be passed on to humans. Fine, I'll wear a condom. <laughs> Many analysts were surprised Putin went through with the invasion, even though it was obviously going to be a colossal mistake. But he couldn't back down after all that buildup. Kind of like how NBC still had to go through with airing the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Fans of the hit HBO show Euphoria have been harshly criticizing the series' creator for sexualizing the high school characters. Plus, it's just not accurate. I mean, take it from me, no one has sex in high school. <laughs> Okay.
Don't applaud that much. Well, this week, Russia began their invasion of Ukraine. President Putin launched the attack with support from allies like Belarus and Tucker Carlson. (laughs) Tuesday was National Pig Day, but I told that to a pig and he handcuffed me. (laughs) This is a tough subject to make jokes about. I mean, in my lifetime, I've seen footage of attacks like this on other countries, but never a white one. who faces charges of sexual abuse has been stripped of his royal duties by Queen Elizabeth. It's an unprecedented case of an adult stripping Prince Andrew. (laughs) The New York real estate heir who murdered his friend and dismembered his neighbor has died in prison. Durst will be remembered as New York's fourth worst real estate heir. A man in Virginia is being called the greatest Uber driver ever after he and his teenage passenger got stuck in a snowstorm and he got a hotel room so she would be safe. Coincidentally, the worst Uber driver ever also brought his teenage passenger to a hotel room. The late Maya Angelou has become the first black woman featured on The Quarter, which is not what black people mean when we demand change. That's not what that was. That wasn't, that wasn't an eye joke. It wasn't an eye joke. No, it wasn't an eye joke. During a Senate committee hearing, Dr. Anthony Fauci was heard on a hot mic calling Senator Roger Marshall a moron. <laughs> Replied Marshall, hey, what's that word mean? <laughs> well, just like... <laughs> too much. Well, just like everybody else, President Biden's New Year's resolutions fell apart in the third week of January. <laughs> The Supreme Court struck down his vaccine mandate, the voting rights bill got blocked, and his approval rating is so low, it's gone into power save mode. (laughs) But I will point out, there was another president who had a disastrous start to his first term, yet he became an inspiration to generations of Republicans, even to this day. I'm talking, of course, about Jefferson. (laughs) The Supreme Court heard a case this week over whether a conservative evangelical woman can refuse to design a website for a same-sex marriage. But, honey... (laughs) I don't know any gay couple who's going to hire a designer with those highlights. (laughs) Honey. I'm I'm sorry. (laughs) I I apologize. (laughs) During... during, It's okay. Chris Christie's niece was arrested on a Spirit Airlines flight to Newark after she accused a Latino family of smuggling cocaine, then injured multiple officers by biting them and kicking them in the groin. She has been sentenced to life in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. France announced that it will start providing free condoms for people between the ages of 18 and 25. Cool. Now do deodorant. A A mattress review site is paying people to test the theory that eating cheese before bed will give a person nightmares. But if you're in bed eating cheese till you pass out, your life is already a nightmare. The Dow Zoo has been dealing with the disappearance of several animals, including a leopard, monkeys, and a vulture. In an unrelated story, check out my amazing coat. (laughs) Yeah, thank you. That election election was rigged. Google announced that it is cutting 12,000 jobs, while Yahoo announced that it is now run by a family of raccoons. Facebook announced that it will reinstate former President Donald Trump's account, but this time they'll put guardrails in place to keep him under control, which I think is the same thing they said every time they tried to reopen Jurassic Park. Also, what even are guardrails on Facebook, and can they apply to my uncle? Because he's posted some very disturbing fan fiction about the green M&M. In the wake of the Clinton Davis. President of the Confederacy. And there are still statues of him in ten different states. Which, come to think of it, probably explains why the voting rights stuff isn't working out. The bottom line is, I think Biden just needs more time. He might be more of an acquired taste. Unfortunately, most Americans recently lost their sense of taste. Taco Bell? Well, this is a terrible transition. Oh, God. Taco Bell has introduced a subscription service that lets users get one taco every day for $10 a month, which kind of sounds like an insult in a rap battle. This bitch so fat, he got a subscription to tacos. You have me at royal duties. (laughs) Domino's is reducing the number of chicken wings included in their meals, and I really wish I'd known that before I had my delivery guy fired for stealing. (laughs) That wasn't a night joke. That's (laughs) a 
Delta Airlines said that this winter's COVID surge cost them more than $400 million in canceled flights after 8,000 employees caught coronavirus, which would never happen to Spirit Airlines employees, because when you fly Spirit, they keep the windows open. Robert Durst. Fun fact. Republicans are being criticized for blocking the voting rights bill, but of course Republicans don't want voting rights because if voting was fair, they'd lose. It's the same reason I keep my basketball hoop lowered to eight feet. Because with the help of a small ladder, I can dunk. (laughs) But if there's any silver lining to voter suppression, it's that we'll never have to hear Republicans try to appeal to black voters. Because no one wants to hear Ted... Well, it was shaping up to be a good week for Joe Biden. He got Brittany Griner back. Uh, he kept marriage gay. And he's only, got, he's only got 14 more sleeps until Santa. But then, just when he thought he had it all under control, Kirsten Cinema said, hold my wig. Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema, seen here realizing that someone is actually waving to the person behind her. Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. (laughs) A new album from R. Kelly was removed from streaming sites several hours after being uploaded. And it was not easy to remove his streams, said the maid who cleaned his couch. Three buckets of human waste in front of a police department and drove away. It's a rare case of erratic behavior from a lady who poops in a bucket. Also, I want to point out that as disturbing as this story is, it's not as disturbing as imagining the woman's drive to the police station (laughs) with full buckets of feces because one speed bump turns her car into a Starbucks bathroom. Researchers in Antarctica have discovered a 17-pound meteorite. Sadly, it was on top of the last polar bear. Disney World is closing Splash Mountain to turn it into Tiana's Bayou Adventure after complaints that its Song of the South theme was racist. Okay, but where's the outrage about Disney forcing a mentally challenged dwarf to mine blood diamonds? Ron Ron McDaniel was re-elected as chair of the Republican National Committee in a closer than expected vote over challengers Harmet Dillon, MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell, Twitter user CatTurd2, Kevin Sorbo, Kyle Rittenhouse, and of course, Colin Jost. <laughs> Congratulations, Colin. Cruz say for shizzle. <laughs> Frankly, no one wants to hear me say it either, but it's too late, it's already a gift. <laughs> a lesbian bar in New York City is now offering on-site COVID tests for customers. They plan to use a much less invasive technique where they sort of just grind around the outside. <laughs> Google is claiming that Apple's practice of using blue bubbles in their iMessage app to highlight other Apple users leads to peer pressure and bullying of Android users. While Apple says Android users could easily solve the problem by not being so dumb and poor. Prince Andrew. Pope Francis said this week that getting vaccinated against COVID is a moral obligation, especially since priests work so closely with kids. President Biden gave a speech in Atlanta where he called on the Senate to pass two voting rights bills saying, I am tired of being quiet. And to prove it, he took a 20 minute standing nap. (laughs) Minority leader Mitch McConnell seen here losing the battle with his breakfast burrito. (laughs) Criticized President Biden's speech on voting rights, calling it beneath his office. Coincidentally, beneath his office is also where McConnell buries the homeless men he hunts for sport. (laughs) Raphael Warnock defeated Herschel Walker in Georgia's Senate runoff. You know, but I don't think this is the last you'll hear from Herschel Walker. I mean, unless he's your biological father. (laughs) With Raphael Warnock's win, Democrats in the Senate will no longer have to rely on Vice President Harris for tie-breaking votes. Harris can now focus on her main priority, waiting for a worse bike accident. (laughs) Nike has officially... Nike has officially cut ties with Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving over his anti-Semitism scandal. Kyrie says he's so depressed he might jump off the edge of the world. (laughs) Today today was the SantaCon bar crawl in New York City. Yeah, the uh, annual reminder that while Santa may exist, God doesn't. (laughs) On Christmas. (laughs) 
<laughs> the Los Angeles Zoo announced that Evelyn, a 46-year-old gorilla famous for her red hair, has been euthanized. Not because she was sick, but because it's L.A. and she was in her 40s. <laughs> Oral arguments in the case, Justice Samuel Alito raised the hypothetical, could a black department store Santa be forced to take a picture with a child dressed in a Klan robe? Alito added that he'd love an answer before he takes his grandkids to the mall next week. Officials at TikTok are trying to stop efforts in Congress to ban the app by launching a campaign called Project Texas, because TikTok is their baby, and they know Texas won't let them get rid of it. <laughs> A new AI chatbot has created controversy after it allowed users to talk with Jesus and Hitler and one guy who thinks he's both. <laughs> Pope Francis criticized laws banning homosexuality as unjust, saying that it's not a crime even though Catholic doctrine views homosexuality as a sin. He also stressed that Catholic doctrine views age as nothing but a number. <laughs> Classified document scandal, representatives for Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama issued statements saying they all turned over all classified records before leaving office, while Jimmy Carter issued a statement saying, come and get him, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Greece has elected its first ever female president, and of course, the country is already falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. A 20-year-old woman in Bangladesh with two uteruses gave birth to twins 26 days after giving birth to her first child. This according to her vagina's suicide note. <laughs> the world's heaviest woman died this week. The world's heaviest woman was best known for her catchphrase, Stop calling me that. <laughs> This week, the FDA granted the first condom approved for anal sex. It took them this long because their wives would only let them test it on their birthdays. <laughs> the makers of Barbie have introduced the first ever Barbie with hearing aids. It teaches an important lesson. It doesn't matter if you're deaf as long as that body banging. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> This will get you back. A woman in Texas allegedly dumped three buckets of human waste in front of a police department and drove away. It's a rare case of erratic behavior from a lady who poops in a bucket. Scientists have trained a goldfish to drive a car. They believe it's the first step to eventually training women. This year's election, a record setting 12 states will have female governors. While, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A California company has created a new marijuana based vaginal suppository to help women suffering from menstrual pain. And ladies, if you're lucky, it might give your boyfriend the munchies. A woman at a bachelorette party in Scotland was attacked while wearing an inflatable penis costume. The woman says she's still throbbing and her head feels like it's ready to explode. <laughs> the world... <laughs> UFO enthusiasts have declared that Hillary Clinton is the first E.T. candidate after she pledged to release government files on UFOs and Area 51. Unfortunately, the aliens keep all their files on a private email server. <laughs> a, man proposed, a man proposed to his longtime girlfriend while she was in the middle of the New York City Marathon. Because what woman can resist a man who doesn't wait for her to finish? Oh. <laughs> A painting by Pablo Picasso portraying his lover as a sea creature was sold at auction for $67 million. It's a beautiful abstract expression of his love and admiration that he named Titty Squid. <laughs> An American woman set a new record by visiting every country in the world in 19 months. And after all that travel, she found the one thing that had been inside her all along, Zika. <laughs> Saudi Arabia announced on Tuesday that it would begin allowing women to drive. Wow, that's only a few short years after cars were allowed to drive themselves. <laughs> a 
new survey finds that half of Americans think that in the future, having sex with a robot will be normal, while the other half are women. A new study of female bottlenose dolphins suggests that their clitoris can experience pleasure during sexual stimulation, but sadly, their fins can't reach. <laughs> It was announced. Do you get it? <laughs> Representative Liz Cheney attacked the House GOP leadership, saying they've enabled white supremacy and anti Semitism. House leadership rejected Cheney's attacks, calling them cheaper than a black rabbi. <laughs> A member of the punk rock group Pussy Riot, which has long protested Vladimir Putin, revealed that she fled the country disguised as a food delivery worker, which explains this notification from DoorDash. In an effort to draw attention to National Breast Cancer Awareness Month in Minnesota, more than 10,000 bras were hooked together and hung from a crane. Well, I do not want to know how Minnesota celebrates Black History Month. <laughs> Hawaii's Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, began erupting for the first time since 1984. Also erupting for the first time since 1984, your aunt watching Yellowstone. <laughs> this is fun. A Canadian woman was fined more than $25,000 for illegally importing bull semen. Meanwhile, in the U.S., bull semen is sold legally under the name White Claw. <laughs> It was reported that more than 400 million pieces of plastic has washed up on a remote island in the Indian Ocean. And for reference, here's what 400 million pieces of plastic looks like. A 10-year-old boy in Florida faces misdemeanor battery charges after he allegedly touched a teacher's breast. Because under Florida law, students are required to wait for their teacher to make the first move. A nun in Colombia who had lived in a convent for eight years has left the clergy to become a porn star, destroying the otherwise spotless sexual reputation of the Catholic Church. <laughs> it was announced that Kylie Jenner, for the second year in a row, was the world's youngest self-made billionaire. The announcement was made in this month's issue of Now's not the time. <laughs> <laughs> Investigators say that the $4.5 million diamond ring stolen from uh, Kim Kardashian will most likely be made into smaller, less valuable stones. You know, like Kendall and Kylie. <laughs> A woman was arrested in Florida after she stole four watches and hid them inside her vagina. Officials became suspicious when the woman took a licking but kept on ticking. <laughs> A woman in Delaware won $400,000 after hitting back-to-back -back lottos in the same day. But the woman says she's still going to keep her day job forging lottery tickets. <laughs> you know, as a man, there is no way I can understand the full impact of this issue. But I asked a bunch of women around the office what their personal experience was with abortion. And I got to admit, I learned a lot from the HR meeting they made me go to as a result. <laughs> <laughs> Researchers have discovered a piece of 20 million year old petrified wood on the Greek island of Lesbos. They knew it was from Lesbos because it's double ended. Oh, man. <laughs> a British woman discovered when she got pregnant that she had a second tiny vagina. Uh, yeah, da butt. <laughs> Taylor Swift gave a commencement address at NYU's graduation ceremony this week because college is a lot like breaking up with Taylor Swift. You're still going to be paying for it decades later. Thursday was National No Broad Day, which I celebrated by not supporting women. <laughs> it's a broad joke. <laughs>
WNBA star Brittany Griner was freed from prison in exchange for Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. It's actually a great trade because Boot was only averaging five points and two rebounds a game. A woman in Atlanta gave birth to her baby in a McDonald's, so caution, wet floor. Peloton's being called sexist for a new ad showing a wife obsessively using a Peloton bike that her husband gave her. But at least they decided against using the slogan, Peloton, you better keep it tighter than the babysitter. A teacher in Oklahoma who was participating in the statewide teacher walkout was arrested for having sex with a student. Worse, she had to pay for her own supplies. According to new reports, six days before WikiLeaks released hacked emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign, Roger Stone, who I believe runs a haunted carnival, received a text from a friend reading, Hillary Clinton's campaign will die this week, even though the actual moment her campaign died was when she said this. Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> A man in New York State was trapped inside his car for 10 hours overnight when a plow covered his car in four feet of snow. Even more amazing, his wife believed that story. For the first time in the history of Wheel of Fortune, the game show was hosted by Vanna White. There were no survivors. <laughs> Well, guys, tomorrow is Mother's Day, whether you wanted to be one or not. <laughs> In an effort to compete with Victoria's Secret, Target has launched a new bra and underwear brand for women. It's the lingerie that'll have your man saying, not tonight. Last week, HBO aired Leaving Neverland, a documentary detailing multiple child molestation charges against Michael Jackson. And they say this doc has done more damage to Michael Jackson than his last doc, Dr. Conrad Murray. <laughs> At the conference, President Biden was asked if he plans to run for re-election in 2024, which is probably the nicest way to ask him if he plans to be alive in three years. <laughs> Nevada's famed Moonlight Bunny Ranch brothel is searching for a quality control tester who will be paid to have sex with prostitutes and rate their performance. The prostitutes will be graded on a scale from F to don't F. <laughs> According to an annual ranking by Orkin Pest Control, the places in America with the worst bed bug problems are Chicago, Detroit, and your mama. The population of Los Angeles has fallen for the third straight year. Well, it's like Colin always says, L.A. is just not the same without Harvey. <laughs> you always yeah, say it, man. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, man. That's cool. A new report shows that half of the dogs in the U.S. are overweight, which explains why the most popular breed in America is the Type 2 Dia Beagle. <laughs> A British version of RuPaul's Drag Race will begin airing next year on the BBC. And because it's England, their penises will be tucked to the right side. <laughs> Trump said him getting COVID was, quote, a blessing from God. And I bet even God was like, hey, we tried, guys. <laughs> Kim Kardashian revealed that she plans to take the bar exam and become a lawyer in three years. And I think she can do it. I mean, it only took Kanye a couple years to go to space. <laughs> a New Jersey woman who posts pictures of herself rock climbing while naked says that it is not pornographic, but I don't know, that rock looks pretty hard. <laughs> Police in Ohio say that a report of a homeless man sleeping on a bench turned out to be a statue, which was a huge relief because they shot it 15 times. <laughs> Jay-Z has launched a line of cannabis products called Monogram. So just a quick reminder to all the women that told me I need to grow up. Beyonce is married to a 50 year old weed guy. <laughs> so God ain't done with me yet. <laughs> Tyler Perry is developing a new TV series that explores the origin of his character Medea, weirdly as part of his new superhero franchise, The Avengers. <laughs> Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> 
It was revealed that Freddy, the world's tallest dog, has died. The cause of death has been listed as ceiling fan. <laughs> Scientists have discovered a new species of jellyfish with a transient anus that appears only when it needs to expel waste and on its husband's birthday. <laughs> The makers of Aunt Jemima products, which have been criticized for using racist imagery, are finally changing the name to Pearl Milling Company. Pearl Milling is the name of the white lady who owned Aunt Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> a woman in Slovakia helped arrest a man robbing a gas station by performing oral sex on him until police arrived. The woman was able to stall him for that long by being terrible at it. <laughs> Aviation officials <laughs> report that two Irish pilots claim they saw an unidentified flying object. But keep in mind, Irish pilot is also the highest reading on a breathalyzer. <laughs> a, new <laughs> a new study by astronomers finds that the galaxy is not as black as previously thought after it was seen dating a white lady. <laughs> A painting by Pablo Picasso portraying his lover as a sea creature was sold at auction for $67 million. It's a beautiful abstract expression of his love and admiration that he named Titty Squid. <laughs> Almost a hundred art industry figures have criticized four different museum plans to postpone exhibits featuring an artist paintings of the KKK. But if you want to see portraits of Klansmen, you can always search Jost on Ancestry.com. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever. Pope Francis has appointed two women to Vatican posts that were previously only held by men. Apparently, God came to him in a dream and told him he could pay women less. <laughs> Residents in Rome are upset after a wild boar and her six piglets were killed on a playground near the Vatican. But it's like they say, nothing good ever happens on a playground near the Vatican. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> a woman in... <laughs> A woman in Utah survived after her SUV got stuck in the snow and mud for nearly a week. The woman says she couldn't have made it without her children. Her delicious, delicious <laughs> children. A British woman was shocked when she discovered a four-foot-long python in her toilet. But hey, that's Indian food for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back to the Grand Canyon joke, yeah. And China was arrested after she cut off her husband's penis, then later went to the hospital where it had been reattached and cut it off a second time. <laughs> you see, that kind of work ethic is exactly why China is beating the U.S. <laughs> Navy, <laughs> Navy, officials boarded, Navy officials boarded a ship in the Arabian Sea and discovered a weapon stash so large that it covered the deck of a U.S. missile ship. Fortunately, the weapons are being returned to the U.S. where they can be safely sold to the mentally disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> An American Airlines pilot reported that during a flight over New Mexico, he saw a long cylinder object come close to his plane. Sorry, that was just our engine, said United. Virgin Atlantic Airlines announced that it will no longer require female flight attendants to wear makeup and skirts, just as long as their husbands sign the consent form. <laughs> a, conductor, a conductor of a bullet train is facing disciplinary action after he left the controls to use the bathroom while the train was traveling at nearly 100 miles an hour. But brother, that chili was traveling at that same speed. <laughs> <laughs> Two male penguins in a same-sex relationship have hatched their first egg. Or, and hear me out, male penguins look exactly like female penguins. <laughs> a woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14-pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> it's a magic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fresh.
out and go get it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. A sailor who fell overboard survived for 14 hours in the Pacific Ocean by floating on a large piece of garbage. Sorry, that was our other engine, said United. <laughs> Trump advisor Stephen Miller also wants to hold migrants seeking asylum in tent cities. Fun fact, tent city is also what Stephen Miller gets anytime a girl talks to him. <laughs> Archaeologists have discovered a thousand-year-old drawings in a cave in Alabama, and guys, they're bad. <laughs> The parents of a six-year-old Indonesian boy who is addicted to smoking say that he is cut down to five cigarettes a day. Now that's very impressive considering how stressed he's been at the sneaker factory. A housing developer in Arizona has created new apartments costing $1,000 a month that are made out of shipping containers. It's all part of his plan to trick Mexicans. Just, there must be somebody that you really like, and, and I can set you up. Uh, well, Roseanne went to Israel. <laughs> uh. <laughs> A new guidebook lists the best tourist destination in the country as Queens, New York. This according to a recent misprint. <laughs> A new study shows that people with a vegetarian diet may live longer. Okay, but for what? A new report says the best place in the world for retirees is Switzerland, while the worst place for retirees is still at the top of a staircase. <laughs> the group advocating replacing Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill with a woman announced that the winner of the poll for the new face of the currency is Harriet Tubman. It's a move that could have racists all over saying, can I get that in tens? <laughs> the Oscars should showcase more of the movies that people actually watch. Like porno. <laughs> I, why can't porn be nominated? Oh, what, you're telling me it's okay to watch movies about people killing and dying and explosions and death, and that's all perfectly fine, but if I want to watch two people make love, I gotta close my laptop because I'm disturbing the other passengers? Who's really the sick one? <laughs> a California company has created a new marijuana-based vaginal suppository to help women suffering from menstrual pain. And ladies, if you're lucky, it might give your boyfriend the munchies. <laughs> Everybody has a crazy conspiracy for this fella's death. Oh, the Clintons had him killed. Trump had him killed. The Russians did it. Anything but the boring, likely story that he broke his own neck trying to masturbate with a belt. <laughs> Doctor? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Police in Nebraska arrested a man for marijuana possession after discovering the drug in his car inside a container that was marked not weed. <laughs> it was marked not weed. The police pulled the man over after he sped by their car, which was also marked not police. <laughs> First address ever by a Japanese leader to Congress, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe offered condolences for Americans killed during World War II. Abe then asked, so you guys have anything from World War II that you want to apologize for? <laughs> the royal family announced that the name of Prince William and Kate's baby girl is Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. They chose the name Diana for William's mother, Elizabeth for his grandmother, and Charlotte for, of course, the 1992 Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese has announced plans to revamp its menu and sell more beer and wine. It's all part of their plan to help loosen up pedophiles. <laughs> a two-year-old in South Carolina found a revolver in the car and ended up shooting his grandmother in the back. Like a coward. <laughs> Which, by the way, this would have never happened if the grandmother also had a gun. A new report shows that the best place in the world for young girls to live is Sweden, while the worst place for young girls to live is on your hard drive. <laughs> I said worst place. Yeah. Researchers have announced they have found the strongest evidence yet of flowing water on Mars. Sadly, all the fountains had signs that read, Greens only. <laughs> 
I mean, we're sharing a bed together, and conservatives are all sprawled out in the middle while liberals are on the edge, passive aggressively tweeting. If we want this, to, if we want this relationship to work, we got to cuddle, man. We got to talk. Get familiar. You can't just wait until you're in desperate need of attention and then poke her in the back with your penis and ask, you sleep? <laughs> Police in North Carolina say that a 12-pound package of marijuana washed up on a beach. For some perspective, this is what a 12-pound package of marijuana looks like. <laughs> a nail salon in Queens <laughs> called Isis Nails has finally changed its name after suffering harassment from locals who thought the store was connected to the terrorist group. <laughs> Though I don't know how much better things will be with their new name, Nail Qaeda. <laughs> Rand Paul announced that he is running for president, and his slogan will be, defeat the Washington machine, unleash the American dream, which is a lot better than Jeb Bush's slogan, buy two Bushes, get one free. <laughs> and China was arrested after she cut off her husband's penis, then later went to the hospital where it had been reattached and cut it off a second time. <laughs> you see, that kind of work ethic is exactly why China is beating the U.S. <laughs> Ali was found guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking this week, but won't be sentenced until next May, after R. Kelly's lawyer successfully negotiated one more school year. Uh, in, the wake, in the wake of the R. Kelly verdict, there's a growing movement online to force music streaming services to remove his music. I mean, after all, streaming is basically what got him in trouble in the first place. <laughs> Barack Obama is being criticized by Chicago residents who claim that his new presidential library will lead to gentrification. And for me, it's another painful reminder that Obama is half white. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell that joke. A new study finds that young adults with depression have a higher risk of dementia later in life, which explains Billie Eilish's upcoming album, Where Am I? <laughs> Purdue University researchers have created the whitest paint on record. The paint is so white, I am its favorite part of SNL. Pharmaceutical company Merck announced that it has developed an experimental antiviral pill that can treat people infected with COVID. The treatment is just waiting on approval from either the FDA or the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Singer Arch. Well, it is very exciting to be back. You know, uh, the first show last season, COVID was raging everywhere. There was no vaccine. We were in the middle of an intense election. And uh, right before we went on the air, the producers were like, uh, hey, real quick, the president might be dying. So uh, have fun out there. It was an exciting time for the show. And, uh, well, the big story this year. <laughs> and grandma, if you're watching, go to bed. <laughs> Lego, Lego has announced the release of its largest set ever, a 9,000-piece replica of the Titanic. Unfortunately, hundreds of those pieces are just frozen Irishmen. A statue of George Floyd on display in a New York City park was defaced for the second time. Police are searching for the suspect and are planning to serve him with a job application. <laughs> Working here, really has. Bill Cosby said he thinks R. Kelly, quote, got railroaded following the singer's sex trafficking conviction. Cosby made the comments in the latest issue of Not Helping Magazine. <laughs> this week, Instagram was down for an entire day, forcing many Instagram addicts to fill their time with Twitter, TikTok, or hosting SNL. <laughs> Fox News turned 25 this week and they celebrated their birthday the same way I do, by paying white women to say some nasty stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, one of Hugh Hefner's former girlfriends revealed that the Playboy Mansion is haunted. She knew it was haunted because if you turn on a black light, you see ectoplasm everywhere. <laughs> The Rolling Stones announced they will no longer play their 1971 song, Brown Sugar, which is about having sex with a slave. Something I wish I'd realized before I chose it at karaoke. A California ranch once owned by Ronald Reagan is being, is being threatened by a large wildfire. Crews are hoping to put out the blaze by pouring water onto a nearby hill and hoping it trickles down. So you did get that one.
Colin Kaepernick revealed that he has maintained his 5 a.m. training regimen in case he gets called back up to the NFL. But the Giants are still going to stick with their current quarterback, a scarecrow on a Roomba. Logistical delays caused by worker shortages and COVID outbreaks have doubled the time it takes for some products to get from Asia to the U.S. Now, this might sound crazy, but could we use bats? Because the last time bats carried something, it got everywhere real quick. Pro bat crowd? Transportation infrastructure. I guess that's an improvement on like a survival of the human race level, but it's not great for TV. So if we could all just pretend to be excited about this next joke, <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. The infrastructure bill. It's been delayed indefinitely. So I guess we'll just cross that bridge when it collapses on top of us. Researchers in Uganda have observed a chimpanzee masturbating with a plastic bottle. Once full, the bottle was capped and sold as Dasani. <laughs> the NBA announced that unvaccinated players will not be paid for any games missed due to local vaccine mandates. But that won't matter. NBA players have a long, proud history of losing money because they refuse to use protection. <laughs> Biden also got his COVID booster shot at the White House live on camera. And based on this photo, it either really hurt or felt really good. <laughs> Pfizer has also submitted data to the FDA to approve its COVID vaccine for kids under 11, which means they could be vaccinated by Halloween. Because what goes better with Halloween than needles? <laughs> Facebook's also denying a report that says using Instagram can cause users to develop a negative body image, which explains their rival's new slogan, TikTok, bring your fat ass over here. Doctors say that a man who came into an emergency room complaining about chest pains had a 10 centimeter chunk of cement lodged in his heart. Wow. Anyways, he's dead. A 90... <laughs> A 96-year-old German woman who was a secretary at a Nazi concentration camp has been released from detention. She is now safely in the custody of her grandson. <laughs> Clint Eastwood was awarded $6 million in a lawsuit against the company that illegally used his image to sell their cannabis products. Because nothing says relaxed and stress-free like Clint Eastwood's face. <laughs> it's just <laughs> <laughs> it was reported that ahead of the deadline for all New York City schools employees to get vaccinated, more than 18,000 employees got at least one shot last week. And hopefully some of them got the vaccine, too. <laughs> In the wake of R. Kelly's sex trafficking conviction, YouTube has removed two channels linked with the singer, one for his singing and the other about how to remove stains. <laughs> Secretary Pete Buttigieg is being criticized for remaining on paternity leave with his husband and twin babies while supply chain problems threaten the holiday shopping season. Said conservatives, see, you let gay couples have kids and God cancels Christmas. A woman in Arizona gave birth to a 14-pound baby boy. So now Arizona has two Grand Canyons. <laughs> it's a mad joke. <laughs> Archaeologists in Israel have discovered a 1,500-year-old winery. Wow, it's crazy that Jewish people have been making wine for that long and they still haven't gotten any good at it. <laughs> DC, DC Comics announced that the new Superman will be bisexual. Yes, they uh, also announced that the Riddler has always been down for whatever. <laughs> Raiders head coach John Gruden resigned after the discovery of homophobic, misogynistic and racist emails he sent. And clearly the emails are indefensible. But does anyone want to be judged by their old emails? I mean, if you could see half the emails Chase sends me. Actually, I'll show you one. <laughs> the subject line is, listen up, honky. And then the body of the email just says, I wish they got you instead of Harambe. A new report shows that President Biden is on average 22 minutes late for public events. Worse, he only does it to appeal to black voters. <laughs> The Brooklyn Nets have banned star player Kyrie Irving from the team until he's finally vaccinated. And as a New York sports fan, I hope this decision finally forces Kyrie to do the right thing and buy a fake vaccination card. <laughs> a, a, Colorado, <laughs> a Colorado woman who posts on OnlyFans said that praying before sex with her husband allows her to experience a threesome with God. A threesome that doesn't end until thy kingdom comes. Oh. 
A group of online sleuths are trying to track down an individual who has been pelting Chicago residents with raw eggs. So good news, Chicago may finally be running out of bullets. <laughs> this, <laughs> this year marks the 50th anniversary of Disney World. To celebrate <laughs> turning 50, Disney has opened a new ride, Mr. Goofy's Wild Colonoscopy. <laughs> Guys. It's hard to transition out of that. Well, some Catholics. <laughs> some Catholics around the country are claiming religious exemption to the COVID vaccine because there's nothing more Catholic than letting someone else die for your sins. President Biden met with House Democrats yesterday to make a case for his Build Back Better budget plan. And no matter what you think about Biden's plan, you got to admire the confidence of a guy with a stutter naming something the Build Back Better budget plan. Yesterday, President Biden issued a historic proclamation for Indigenous Peoples Day. Biden made the announcement just moments after his staff talked him out of wearing the headdress. <laughs> Indigenous People's Day, by the way, will be observed simultaneously with Columbus Day. And uh, this just in, Columbus Day has forced Indigenous People's Day to move to a worse day. <laughs> Florida police discovered a meth lab on the 15th floor of a luxury condo building, which in Florida is something they list in the brochure. <laughs> Harry Styles revealed that his 2019 song, Watermelon Sugar, is about the female orgasm. He also revealed the full title of the song is Watermelon Sugar, and in parentheses, is a myth. <laughs> well, well, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, seen here watching a child fall into the gorilla enclosure. McConnell has agreed to a deal to temporarily raise the debt ceiling through early December. And then at that point, it'll be almost Christmas, and McConnell will be busy going around to Toys for Tots bins and gluing them shut. A British woman was shocked when she discovered a four-foot-long python in her toilet. But hey, that's Indian food for you. Officials with Waymo, a self-driving taxi service, say that after a year, the robo-taxi taxis still have trouble with left turns and puddles, which explains Waymo's slogan, let's get in Waymo accidents. <laughs> economics, economics joke. Music commentators are noting that upcoming releases from Taylor Swift and Adele signal a shift in the industry from hot girl summer to sad girl autumn. <laughs> yes, yeah, which is followed, as always, by messy diva Christmas. Experts say, experts say that by 2026, Disney Plus will surpass Netflix to become the top streaming platform in the world. Not so fast, said Pornhub. <laughs> A new study shows that coronavirus can cause infertility in men. See, so it's not all bad. <laughs> Republican rally in Virginia, attendees recited the national anthem to a flag allegedly used during the Capitol riots. You could tell the flag was from the riots because it was soaked in pepper spray and Mountain Dew code red. <laughs> the Biden administration's climate plan is likely to be dropped from the budget bill after Senator Joe Manchin refused to support it. But you know what? I'm not going to let some bad climate news ruin this beautiful 80 degree October day. <laughs> Manchin, who's from West Virginia, said he would only agree to Biden's bill if it cuts clean energy and officially makes coal one of the five food groups. You <laughs> <laughs> make some good points, Michael. A new, a new report shows that New Jersey has the second worst roads in the country, while the worst roads are the ones that go into New Jersey. <laughs> The publisher of Roald Dahl's books announced that they're altering some of his insensitive language, like the words fat and ugly, as well as modernizing his portrayal of women, which will mostly affect Dahl's beloved children's classic, The Fat, Ugly Wife Who Knew Her Place. <laughs> Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the site of the train derailment and was criticized for wearing leather dress boots. But give him a break. That's all he had at Baby Gap. <laughs> Wednesday was International Women's Day. I said was. Next joke. A new study finds... <laughs> a new study finds that some New York City rats carry the virus that causes COVID, which is why I always order mine. Well done. <laughs> oh, I thought that'd make you laugh.
A man in Florida said he was surprised when he heard a knock at the door and it turned out to be an alligator. Even more surprising, it was doing the thing from Love Actually. <laughs> officials in Berlin announced that women will now be allowed to go topless at the city's pools. But officials also said to be aware, it's not going to be the ones you want. <laughs> After Walgreens announced that they will stop selling abortion pills in 21 states, CVS has remained silent on the issue. While over at Rite Aid, you can just grab a pill from the Take Abortion, Leave Abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker, <laughs> Tucker Carlson seen here laughing at a dog locked in a hot car. <laughs> released security footage from the January 6th attacks with the violence edited out and said it proves it was a peaceful gathering, which is like editing all the sex out of a porn video and saying it's a short film about being a stepmom. Raphael Warnock defeated Herschel Walker in Georgia's Senate runoff race. You know, but I don't think this is the last you'll hear from Herschel Walker. I mean, unless he's your biological father. With Raphael Warnock's win, Democrats in the Senate will no longer have to rely on Vice President Harris for tie-breaking votes. Harris can now focus on her main priority, waiting for a worse bike accident. <laughs> Nike, has <officially, laughs> Nike has officially cut ties with Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving over his anti-Semitism scandal. Kyrie says he's so depressed he might jump off the edge of the world. <laughs> Today... Today was the SantaCon bar crawl in New York City. Yeah, the uh, annual reminder that while Santa may exist, God doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> On Christmas. <laughs> the Los Angeles Zoo announced that Evelyn, a 46-year-old gorilla famous for her red hair, has been euthanized. Not because she was sick, but because it's L.A. and she was in her 40s. <laughs> oral arguments in the case, Justice Samuel Alito raised the hypothetical, could a black department store Santa be forced to take a picture with a child dressed in a Klan robe? Alito added that he'd love an answer before he takes his grandkids to the mall next week. <laughs> the, the National Brotherhood of Skiers is pushing for greater representation of black people in winter sports, which are predominantly white. Huh, so it seems like someone's a little jealous that we took their precious dunk. <laughs> Yeah. This week, both Harvey Weinstein and R. Kelly were given additional prison sentences on top of the ones they are already serving. Which brings us to Michael Che's new segment. What did they even do wrong? <laughs> I mean, if anything, they're guilty of loving too much, right? <laughs> a player's got to play. Am I right, ladies? No. <laughs> this has been What Did They Even Do Wrong? Georgia representative and cocaine bear Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Tweeted, the country needs a national divorce, which makes sense because she's the most divorced looking woman I have ever seen. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is releasing a new memoir called The Courage to Be Free, even though The Courage to Be Free sounds like a black history book he's banned. <laughs> Donald Trump visited East Palestine, the site of the recent train derailment, because Trump usually likes to try to make himself look better by standing next to a train wreck. <laughs> The train that was derailed was carrying highly toxic vinyl chloride, which I think is something Trump recommended as a cure for COVID. <laughs> then, while visiting the disaster site, Trump also gave out bottles of Trump-branded water. Said residents, thanks, but we'd rather drink the toxic train water. A deep-sea diver has announced plans to set a new record by living underwater for 100 days. I feel like the record is longer than that, said the people of New Orleans. <laughs> Oh, boy. President Biden said that he supports a bill that would allow the government to ban TikTok, but only because Biden thinks TikTok is a gang member from his old neighborhood. <laughs> President Biden proposed his budget that would help fund Medicare with a 25 percent tax on billionaires. Ha! Take that, Rihanna. <laughs> President Biden's proposed budget included $400 million to counter Chinese disinformation. It will target the number one source of Chinese disinformation, fortune cookies. <laughs> the Supreme Court heard a case this week over whether a conservative evangelical woman can refuse to design a website for a same-sex marriage. But honey, I don't know any gay couple who's going to hire a designer with those highlights. <laughs> Honey, I'm, I'm sorry. 
I, I apologize. During, during, it's okay. Chris Christie's niece was arrested on a Spirit Airlines flight to Newark after she accused a Latino family of smuggling cocaine, then injured multiple officers by biting them and kicking them in the groin. She has been sentenced to life in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. France announced that it will start providing free condoms for people between the ages of 18 and 25. Cool. Now do deodorant. <laughs> President Biden is being praised for his surprise visit to Ukraine by taking a 10-hour train ride from Poland. You know who else takes a long-ass train ride through an active war zone? Every New Yorker. <laughs> China is trying to help end the war in Ukraine and proposed a 12-part plan for peace. The catch is the 12 parts have to be assembled by children. <laughs> Experts have debunked claims that an unwanted pregnancy can be terminated with high doses of vitamin C. Well, that's the last time I ask a woman to stay over for breakfast, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> the NBA slam dunk was won by Mac McClung, a six foot two white man who has only appeared in two NBA games, which is just a terrible way to end Black History Month. <laughs> it was announced that Brittany Griner has signed with the Phoenix Mercury for one year. Unfortunately, the WNBA pays less than a Russian prison. <laughs> A four-foot-long alligator was discovered in Brooklyn's Prospect Park, so you can probably take down all those missing dog posters. Tucker Carlson, seen here at a whites-only rave, <laughs> has been granted access to over 40,000 hours of security footage from the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Who could watch all that with going, <laughs> going insane, said psychiatrists about Tucker Carlson's show. <laughs> of the Oscars said they changed the color of the arrival carpet from red to champagne so the mood would be more mellow. But, I don't know, switching from red to champagne usually turns me into a full-on bitch. According to a new report, by 2035, more than half of the world's population will be just how I like them. A photo... A photo has gone viral of a 98-year-old woman in Kentucky meeting her first great-great-great-grandchild. Well, I wish I had gotten to meet my great-great-great-grandmother so I could have told her, don't get on that boat! <laughs> <laughs> it was reported that the organizers of King Charles' coronation have officially invited Meghan Markle, and this is nice, at a starting salary of $19 an hour. <laughs> New documents from the Dominion lawsuit reveal texts from Tucker Carlson in which he says he hates Donald Trump passionately and can't wait until he's able to ignore him. That must suck to go on TV and put on a smile and make friends with some psychotic bigot just because it's good for the show. <laughs> anyway, back to you, Colin. Starbucks baristas in Seattle are saying that they are being forced to dispose of hypodermic needles left behind in the stores every day by drug users. Meanwhile, over at 7-Eleven, they're using them as stirrers. <laughs> Charmin has introduced a new toilet paper called the Forever Roll, which can last someone up to one month. We'll see about that, said Chipotle. <laughs> the screenwriter of the new Harriet Tubman biopic said that when he first pitched the movie in the 90s, a studio executive suggested that Julia Roberts play Harriet Tubman. I know worse, it was going to be called Runaway Bride 2. <laughs> A 70-year-old woman in India has given birth to her first child. Doctors described the birth as, quote, like pulling a penny out of a wad of gum. <laughs> South Dakota's governor is defending a new anti-meth campaign, which features the tagline, meth, we're on it, which isn't as bad as North Dakota's ad campaign, cocaine, we cracked it. <laughs> New research shows that reindeers in Norway have an unusually high level of radiation due to dust from the 1986 Chernobyl meltdown. In fact, you could even say they glow. <laughs> South Dakota's governor is defending a new anti-meth campaign which features the tagline, Meth, we're on it, which isn't as bad as North Dakota's ad campaign, Cocaine, we cracked it. <laughs> The U.S. men's soccer team failed to qualify for the Olympics for the third time in a row. But fellas, keep your heads up and remember that win or lose, you will always get paid more than the women's team. <laughs> it's true. 
Officials in Colorado are searching for the man who was reportedly harassing a moose by chasing it down the street. Said the man, I like my girls thick. (laughs) A stripper at a club in Florida was arrested after she got into a fight with another dancer. Then she ripped an entire electrical meter off the wall. Proving once again my old theory, cocaine makes you strong. An Arizona woman suffered more than 20 bee stings after a heavy wind blew a beehive onto her head. But tragically, no one filmed it. (laughs) 